Hi friends, my name is Taya. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, thank you for tuning in for yet another video. So as you can see, well, let me first address the elephant in the room. So I was blessed with a lovely, 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 lovely cold sore. Yeah, and so it's like in the healing stage right now. My lip is not nearly as swollen as it was, but yeah, she was, she was pretty intense, pretty gross, pretty itchy pretty painful and now we're on like day five or day six I think um so scab it started to scab over and fall off and now it's literally just in the healing stage but I wanted to address that that way you guys are not thinking why does this girl have toothpaste on her lip because I don't it is cold sore medicine and it's not toothpaste back to the video so as you can see by the title, we are going to be decluttering and organizing this house. So, um, if you have been following along with like my channel over the last year or so, then you may already know this, but if you are new, no worries, I can explain it. So my fiance and I are getting married in about a month. Today's Tuesday, May 30th and we get married on Sunday, July 2nd. So we've got like 30, 32 days. I don't know, something like that. I'd have to check to, to get the exact number. But we used to live in a house with a bunch of friends and all of our friends moved out and so now it's just us. And so we're kind of like branching out into the house and it'll just be us living here. We're really excited, but now we've got stuff to go through uh and declutter and organize and all that stuff so that's what you're gonna kind of see me doing in this video is a lot a lot of organizing and decluttering and just kind of like going through stuff and getting rid of things because he has lived here for the past year or two years really but i have been back at my apartment in a whole nother town three and a half hours away for graduate school but i finally finished and so it's just kind of getting everything together and then because we are a month out, we've got um, some last minute wedding things that are going to be happening. So yeah, like I said, today it, or right now, it's Tuesday, May 30th. And we've got Stanley steamers coming to deep clean all the carpets that um, everyone's staying in. And then just to do our room. After looking at the carpets, we don't really need it. We would rather get it done and not need it than not get them done. And the carpets look really bad. So. I'd rather be too clean than not clean enough, if you know what I mean. So yeah, Stainless Steamers is coming this morning and then I'm probably gonna start on the kitchen area since they are doing a couple rooms in the stairs. Um, I wanna stay out of their way. So I think that's what we're gonna start with is the kitchen. And then later today, Rob and I are gonna be building some furniture and probably tomorrow you guys are gonna see me uh, like washing all the sheets and um, putting the rooms together while he's at work. So yeah, if you want to come along uh, on this journey, then please stay tuned and I'll see you on the next clip. I cannot believe I'm going out of the house like this. I feel like I'm always telling y'all, oh, change your plans, but change your plans. So, in our little message thing, it says that Stanley Steamer is supposed to come between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m., like noon. And so I thought they were going to be there a little bit sooner, but they're not, which is okay. Um, but right now I am going to grab a coffee and then I'm actually going to, I'm going to let the dogs out. And then hopefully by the time I wrap up doing that, Santa Savers will be on the way. Cause they are supposed to text me saying like when they're headed my way. So yeah. Culture update. We've secured the old faithful, my iced white or my iced grande white chocolate mocha with oat milk. I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what is happening this weekend, which uh, it's, it's really, really soon. So I was supposed to be having my bridal shower on Friday, June 2nd, and then my bachelorette is this Saturday and Sunday on June 3rd and 4th. 
I canceled my bridal shower just because I do have a loved one who has fallen ill and they just haven't been doing super great. And I felt like it just is not, I don't know, it's not really a great time to do a bridal shower. So as far as that goes, I will not be having a bridal shower, but I will still do my bachelorette little festivities this weekend just because it we did like prepay it and i don't know it seemed like kind of like last minute to cancel something like that yeah i guess that's just a quick update i will try to record some of my bachelorette and i did intend on getting footage for from my bridal shower but like i said i'm just not gonna have that uh anymore and i am a little bit sad about it but it's just timing is just not good for it and that's perfectly okay you know things happen um so yeah i just thought i would update you guys like i said i got my coffee and i got my ham and sis ham and swiss croissant and so now i am just going to stop at my in-laws and let the dogs out for a while and hopefully stanley's neighbors will be on their way hi friends it is 11 21 a.m um i decided to put a hat on that way i'm not looking super crazy when stanley steamers gets here but uh who knows what that will be because honestly they still are not here and they did send me a text um, just saying if they're running behind schedule, which it's not the end of the world. Um, it kind of works out, but I just hope that, well, it kind of works out because our last friend is moving out today. And so um, that'll give him time to just like get the last things, uh, the last few things out of his room before they clean that carpet. I just hope they're done by the time Roman gets off of work because uh, by then we're hoping to um, like build some of the furniture for the items that we have because I do have some friends staying with us this weekend. Bridal shower and bachelorette stuff. Well, for bachelorette stuff. And so, yeah, now I'm back. I was with the dogs maybe for like an hour, hour and 20 or so. Let them out, hung out with them, gave them some treats. And I'm back at our house and I'm gonna start going through the stuff in the kitchen. The kitchen is, I don't think it'll be that bad. I don't, it's not gonna be that hard. It's really just, we lived with four other people and so there's just a lot of like little things that were left in the fridge and in the pantry. So I'm just gonna go through and get rid of everything that's expired and then the stuff that's still good, Roman and I do wanna start fresh. So I think we're just gonna donate it or give it to someone else cause I don't want it to just go to waste, but we want to do, I want to do like an entire deep clean and then we want to start fresh with like our own groceries and stuff and not have leftover stuff from other people. Just cause I think it's easier to keep track of stuff that way. So yeah. <laughs>
okay it's 123 i will say the person who cleaned our floors did a really good job and she was also super fast i would say she knocked it out we, we don't have any furniture in the rooms except like our room um and there's only like a nightstand or something super small but she knocked it out super fast i don't know i guess faster than i was expecting so now found some red lobster cheddar bay biscuits in our freezer and they're still good so i'm about to eat those and i am determined so as you can see like i've been cleaning the fridge and the kitchen and stuff and i'm gonna eventually try to tackle like the the cabinets for the most part everything's out of them they should be wiped down and kind of like gone through and stuff but i cannot figure out how to get the dang freezer drawer out of the freezer and i want to take that out and deep clean it the same way i did with like the fridge little sections and for the life of me i probably just spent like five or ten like the last 10 minutes trying to get that off and i just i don't know how to do it so maybe i'll like watch a video or something but i, I really don't know so we're just gonna see what happens now i'm gonna take a quick break and eat these eat this bread these biscuits and then probably continue but i just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all y'all do not judge me but so i I looked, at, I looked up a youtube video and apparently i have to use a drill to get these little bolts out on all the sides so i'm gonna try to do that because like i y'all don't understand how bad i want this drawer just out because i want to clean it i want to deep clean it the same way i did everything else so we're we're gonna try it i am not one with the drill could keep you off my mind, babe. honestly the whole drill thing just made me mad because it wasn't working. I started sweating and I needed my hair off my neck. So it's literally up in this, this really rough looking bun. And now I'm just eating my biscuits. Amazon is my home for lunch. So I'm going to see if he can do it. While he's here. It definitely frustrated me though, to say the least. Y'all, Roman got it. Uh, well, he started it and then I finished it off, but I was finally able to take this drawer out. And so now I'll be able to deep clean this. And it's really gross because it looks like something was dropped or spilled in the bottom. And then, I don't know, it just froze. And so now, luckily I've been trying to get the door off for a while. So I thought a little bit, so to make it a lot easier to clean, I won't have to wait. And then after that, I'll probably start on the pantry, which I think in the pantry, we're gonna have a lot more stuff that we'll be able to donate. Just cause the stuff in the fridge, like I feel like those kind of things go fast or go bad faster. And then from there, I should be able to kind of clear some of this stuff off. Everything that you've seen on this side, like all those pots and pans and stuff, are our friend stuff. Um, so that'll be gone soon. But yeah, we're just taking it section by section. Section by section. So here we go. Could keep you off my mind. Baby, tell me what you
kitchen yesterday, but I'm kind of just over the kitchen at the moment and I needed to take a break from it. So right now we're going to fill my bookshelf. bookshelf literally culture update my scab started falling off yesterday um that might gross you out you know it is what it is now it's kind of like leaving a score a little bit but it's okay it is 10 a.m the next day because like i said yesterday all i did was all i did was i put my bookshelf together and then I went and did my taste testing and got rid of a couple things but I want to bore y'all with that. Today I really want to finish the kitchen. The kitchen was the biggest task for me and I want to finish that today so I can I can I can be great at other things. <laughs> so here we go. Let's start our morning. literally like hours later um i had to go lighter i had to go let out the dogs for usual for this week and then roman came home for lunch so i spent some time with him and then afterwards i started applying for some things and i just got so ridiculously exhausted uh so i had a 45 minute nap and right now um, I'm about to meet with uh, one of my friend's moms to talk about, uh, like, boxes. So, yeah, I mean, updates on the house. Like, we'll just see what happens with it. Um, kitchen's pretty much done, which was, like, the biggest part. Now it's just gonna kind of be finding a spot and putting things where they need to go. So, still looking crazy, but it's good. Hello. So it's 1.52, I uh, am in Roman's car because he took my car to the airport. I'm leaving the dogs right now. Update, it's gone. It's really just like a scar now. So it'll take me a little bit of time to get my color back. But <clears throat> yeah, uh, right now we're gonna go meet with our coordinator, which is one of our good friends. So I'm just gonna meet her at a Starbucks and then I have some errands to run, like I have to return my cell phone finally and drop off some things that are 
going to be donated. And yeah, I might have to get like a drink or something while I'm at Starbucks. It is late, so I don't want to get a coffee, but I'm so tired. I don't know why, but the last two days I've just been so exhausted. So 